Hey guys, let's talk about list in Python. In the previous videos, we have seen data types like string, integer, float, boolean, etc. All of this data type can only store one value at a time. When it comes to list, list is also a data type in Python, but it can store multiple values. It's something similar to arrays in Java or collection types in PLSQL. Now, a list in Python can store values which may belong to any data type. In fact, a list can also store multiple lists within it. Let's look at that with some examples. As you can see in this program, I have created three different lists which are assigned to three different variables. So the first variable is fruits. I have created a list here. So how do you identify if a value is a list is by checking if the value is enclosed within a square bracket. So in Python, if a value is enclosed within a square bracket, then it is termed as a list. So in this case, this is a list and inside this list, I have five different values. So all of these are fruit names. So each of these values are separated by a comma, as you can see here. So now this whole list is assigned to my variable fruits. And in the next step, I have four numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, which is assigned to my variable numbers. And then I have a third variable data, which is having values like X, Y, Z, which are uh, strings. And then it has two numbers and then it has two Boolean values. And then it also has a inner list. So as I told you, a list can store multiple list as well. So inside this main list, I have another sub list and then I have some floating point numbers. And then I also have a none type. So this is what I meant when I said a list in Python can store values of any data type. So if I execute this program, you can see that the program is executing fine and it's displaying the values of each of these variables. So even the list which has values uh, belonging to different data types is also working fine. To access the whole list, you can just pass the whole variable name. But let's say if you want to access only a particular item in the list, then how you can do that is by passing the index of that value. So let's check that. So let's say from my list fruits, I only want to get the first value that is banana. So to do that, I can just pass the index as zero. And if I execute this program, you can see that it's only printing banana. So what's happening here is that uh, when I say index, index is nothing but the position of each item or each value within the list. So in Python, your index always starts from zero. So for this particular list fruits, I have totally five values here, as you can see. And the first value will have the index as zero. The second value will have index as one. The third value will have index as two and so on and so forth. So if I want to access the value banana, I know that it is present in the index zero. So when I pass the index as zero, it will fetch me the value banana. So I need to pass the index within the square bracket uh, after mentioning the list name. Okay, so if I wanted to access a grape, I know that this one is present in my index three. So if I just pass index as three and if I execute this program, now it's going to print me grape. So this is how you can access a particular value uh, from your list. Let's say if I wanted to access the last value in my list. So let's say if I use minus one, in this case, what happens is it will print the last values. So basically a negative index will start looking for the values in the list from the end, okay, in the reverse order. Instead of minus one, if I mention minus two, then it will fetch the value in the list, which is last but one. So if I execute this, it's going to print me grape. That is the last but one value in my list. Now, let's say I have this list here data and inside this list, I have another list, okay? So if I wanted to fetch the value within this list, then let's say if I wanted to fetch this particular value, in order to do that, what I can do is I can pass multiple index. How I can pass that is, so I, pa I passed one index inside the square brackets. So I open another square bracket and then I pass the second index, which will be the index of this in this list, which is inside my main list. So I pass one, so it will fetch the second value here, this one. And now when I execute this program, you can see that it's printing within. So if you want to access uh, a particular value of a list, which is within a list, then you need to use multiple indexes like this. Now, let's say if I want to access a list of values from within the list. 
So let's say I want to get the first three values uh, within my fruits list. How I can do that is by using slices. So slices is nothing but you pass multiple index values which are uh, separated by a colon. Okay. So let's say I pass fruits and then inside my square brackets I pass 0 colon 3. Now in this case what happens is Python will fetch all the values from this list fruits. It will start from the index 0 and it will go up to all the values up to the third index but it will not include the value which is present at the third index. So in this case it will fetch 0, 1 and 2. It won't include 3. So now when I execute this program we can see that it's printing banana, apple and orange that is the first three values. So this is how uh, using slices we can slice through and list to form a new list. Okay. I can also write the same print statement without mentioning the first index value in this slice. So if I execute this program now, we can see that the output is the same meaning that whether I mention the first index value or not, Python by default will treat it like zero. So that is one thing to remember. Secondly, let's say if I mention here as two, but I do not mention the last index, then what happens is Python will start taking all the values from the second index and it will go up to the end of the list. Okay. So if I execute this, we can see that it's printing orange, grape and kiwi, this one. So it started from the second index and it went up to the end because I did not mention any value that is the end value. So it took everything that is till the end of the list. Okay. Now what happens if I don't mention any of the, let me delete this and let's say now I don't mention any of the index uh, values here. So I just mention colon, but don't mention any index values. Now if I execute this, you can see that it's printing the whole of this list. Okay. So if you don't mention any index value here, then and only mention a colon, then Python will return the whole list. Okay. So uh, another thing to note here is, so let's say if I want to uh, print all the values from zero, but I don't want to include the last item. Then in that case, I can just use a minus one. So as I told you, minus one will return the last item in your list. So this will return the last item in your list. And since whatever is uh, returned here will not be included. So when I execute this program, you can see that it's printing the whole list, excluding the last item. So instead of minus one, if I mention minus two, then it will print everything excluding the last two items in the list. So this is how you can slice through a list to get a new list of values. If you want to find the length of a list, then you can do that by using the length function, the similar function that we use with strings. So let's say if I just type len of fruits, then it's going to count the total length of this list and it's going to display that. So you see here it's saying five, the length of my fruits is five, meaning that this list is having five items or five elements. So now you have seen how to create a list and how to access a particular item in the list. Next, let's see how we can modify a list. So let's say if I wanted to change the fruit name from banana to some other fruit, how I can do that is fruits and pass the index. I know it's zero. I just pass the new fruit name. So I say watermelon. Now, if I print this, You can see that the value that was present in my zero index is now changed from banana to watermelon. So this is how I have changed a particular value in my list. Now let's say if I wanted to add a new value into my list, then I can use a method called as append. I can just write fruits dot append and then pass a new value. So let's say I pass durian and if I execute this program, you can see that durian is added to the end of this list. So append is a method. A method is nothing but a function just that this uh, function or this method can only be used with list. So each of these data types will have its own uh, methods. For example, append or a few other methods can only work with list. Similarly, there are few methods which only work with string and so on. The important thing to note here is since I used append, whatever value I pass inside my append, it will always add this value to the end of the list. But let's say if I wanted to add a value 
somewhere in between then i can use a method called as insert fruits dot insert and then my insert method will accept two parameters one is the index where it needs to where the value needs to be inserted and the second is the value itself so let me pass the index as one and then pass the value mango now if i execute this program you can see that mango is added in the first index whereas durian was added to the end this is a difference between these two methods both are used to add new values to a list next let's see how we can remove a value from the list to do that we can use a method called as remove so let's say i mention fruits dot remove and i give a value here so let's say i give a value like kiwi okay so if i execute this program now you can see that uh, the fruit kiwi is now removed from this list there's another way we can remove an item from the list and that is by using the command del which stands for delete so i can just write del space fruits and then i need to pass the index so let's say i pass the index like zero if i execute this you can see that the value that was stored in my index 0 that is watermelon is now removed from this list difference between remove and del is that whenever we are using remove we need to pass the exact value that needs to be removed from that list whereas when we are using del we need to pass the index in the list so whatever value is stored in this index will be removed similarly there are few other methods that we can use with list so let's say if i want to get the index of a particular value in my list for example if i want to get the index of 3.14 in my list data how i can do that is i can just say print of data dot index and then i pass the value that is 3.14 so now if i execute this program you can see that it's printing 8 because the index value of 3.14 is 8 okay so this is how we can use index method to get the index index of a particular value uh, in our list next we also have a method called as reverse so let's say if we want to reverse a particular list then we can use the reverse method so if i just type fruits dot reverse if i execute you see that Previously the value was mango, apple, orange, grape, durian and after I do the reverse it has reversed the whole order of this list. Now let's see how we can sort the values of a list. So let me remove all of this. So I don't need this. Let's say if I want to sort the values inside my fruits uh, list. So I can just type like fruits.salt and then I print fruits. If I execute this you can see that it's sorting my list values so apple has come in the beginning and then banana and then grape kiwi and orange so let's say if i want to sort my list numbers i can see that the list values are already sorted 10 20 30 40 they are already sorted in ascending order but let's say if i want to sort them in descending order okay then what i can just do is so let me write numbers dot sort and then here let me write a keyword like reverts equal to true. What this will do is it's going to sort in the reverse order. So now if I print numbers, you can see that my numbers list has been reversed. One important thing to note is that sort will work only with list who are having values of the same data type only. So for example, if I try to sort my list data, which is having the values belonging to different data type, and if I try to print it, you can see that it's going to throw me an error saying that it's not supported. Basically, it's trying to say that it's not able to sort a string value and an integer value because Python doesn't know how do you sort a number and, and a string uh, to uh, put together. So that is why sort will only work with list if it's having the values of the same data type. Now, one additional thing to note is so let's say in my fruits list i add a couple of new, new values so let's say i add apple and then i add banana all of this i'm adding in lower case so if i try to sort this uh, fruits and if i execute the program you can see that the sorting works but all the 
fruits which were mentioned in upper case are have come in the beginning and all the lower case are still in at the end this is because when python does the sorting of strings all the upper case will be sorted uh, in the beginning and the lower case will be sorted at the end if you don't want python to sort values based on its uh, upper and lower case then you can use a keyword like key equal to str dot lower so what this will do is it will tell python to treat all the values within your list as lower case letters and then it will do the sort treating that all the values are in lower case so now if i execute this program you can see that the apple which i mentioned in lower case is coming in in the beginning and the same way banana so this is how by using this particular keyword we can sort the values of a list irrespective of its case next let's see how we can use list with loops so let's say i remove this and now let's say if i wanted to print each value within this list let me remove this so if i wanted to print each value within this list how i can do that is so i can use a for loop i say for item in fruits and then i print item okay so now what's basically happening is so this is a list it's going to take each value during its each iteration so for each iteration it's going to take one value from the list it's going to pass it to my variable item so item is a variable or a iterator it this can be anything you can give any name you want and then this item i'm just printing so when i execute this program you can see that it's printing each value of this um, list now there is one function that we can use along with list uh, in the loop that is called as enumerate what this function does is it's going to return the value of the list as well as its index so it's going to return two things the index and the value so you need to capture the index as well here so i just pass another uh, iterator or the variable here so idx comma item and then i print that now when i execute this program you can see that it's printing the index as well as the value of uh, each value of that list so this is how we can use enumerate function within a loop when using list finally let's talk about list concatenation and uh, list replication so let's say you have a requirement where you want to create a list of zeros so you want to create a list of thousand zeros so manually if you have to do that you would have to do it like 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 etc a uh, thousand times which would be almost impossible to do so a better method to do that would be so i can just create a new variable like zeros and then i create a list with just one zero and then i use my star operator and then mention the number 1000 so in this case what happens is it's going to multiply the value inside the list thousand times so it's going to create a list with thousand zeros now if i print this if i execute this program you can see that i've got a list which is having thousand zeros so this is what is called as a list replication so you're replicating the value of a list a fixed number of time in this case a thousand times similarly uh, i can also concatenate two lists so let's say i create a new list so new list equal to i want to concatenate my previous two lists so that is fruits plus numbers and then i want to print this print new list so if i execute this you can see what's happening is it's basically concatenating my list fruits with my list number so it's getting all the values from fruits and then taking all the values from numbers and it's forming a new list okay so using the plus operator we can concatenate uh, a two list which is called as string concatenation i hope all of this was clear these are the most basic uh, operations that you can perform in list if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe thank you